Tiger will start the serve. Start the serve. Number 12, Abigail Langston. It's going to be Abigail Langston. The heights are not on the roster. So I just have to, by guess, and by golly, a smoking hot serve that's received by Josie Herta. That goes outside left. It's picked up by the Libero for Stewart. They go outside left, punch into the solo, solo blocker. They go cross court to Sparrowbo. An attempted nice pick up there in the back row by Stewart. Though. As Herta again picks one up. And Stewart though gets the point because Nine Paul Reed had a hitting error. And so it's one nothing Stewart though. Again, lines with the serving from that right corner. Angles it. Ribeiro picks it up. The eighth grader for Thurbo. They have two eighth graders starting here tonight. Ribeiro for Stewartville bumps it outside right. Hammered. And oh, almost a great pickup by the Ribeiro, but Herta could not get an accurate pass to her. And Stewartville comes up with another point. Langsuk will continue to serve in that right corner. Flat footed serve that puts a lot on it. Back set for Ryan Paul. Keep. Back set right side, hit into the block lead by Farabo. Stewartville picks it up. They're going for their defense, man. They pick everything up. Set by Williams, goes outside left. Stuck by Stewartville. Ella Theobald gets the block kill. And just that quickly, the Tigers are out 3 0. Langship again. Stays in that right corner. I like the servers that move all up and down the line, but if you're comfortable right there, she's doing a good job. Set goes to center of the net. Is it put down by Theobald? Yes, it is. And Josie Erda just could not come up with it in the back row. And Theobald picks up her second kill. It's 4 0 Stewartville. Langsick serving for that right corner. Smoking hot line drive. Picked up on the back row. Back set Williams goes to Pete. Stewartville is going to set right side. It's angled. Is it in? It's called in. But guess who just got another kill? Theobald. And the Falcons say, we need a timeout. I should say so. Langsick. And hot serve received by the Libero. Herta can't get it over the net. Trying to do an overhand over the head, and there ends up being an error. Six nothing, Stewartville. Set from Herta. And having trouble getting in after the pass to the front. It is put down and scrambled there. Stewartville couldn't put that one up and just kind of came over. Number 12, Elena Simon. So let's see if Fairbolt can get on a roll here. It's now 6 to 1. Starting to serve for the Fairbolt Falcons is going to be Elena Simon. Simon behind the service line elevates and serves it all of five. So three mistakes already in the space set for the Falcons again their first match of the season. Serving for Stewartville is Kylie Minnick. There's a Kaylee. That's Kylie. Exceptions made in the back row. The bump goes outside left. And Stewartville chases it down right before they go to the bench. Comes back over. Williams saves it. She calls for it. Gets it back. Hammers at the left hand. And not so Stewartville off. There's a set over a Williams block. Back set goes right. And unfortunately a hitting error by Perkins into the net. So the fourth mistake by the Faribault Falcon as it's 8 to 1 Stewartville. Set goes outside left. Looks like the Faribault Falcons are having more than one person. The Birkin gets the kill. The serving now for Faribault is going to be Manahan. Troy Manahan, she's a senior. There's a jump set back right. And my, my. A crunch job by Theobald. She's got four kills already. They just can't get a block up on her at all. 
Looks to be right around 5'11", 6 feet, something like that. They don't have lights on here. And the barrel for Steel Bill is now sleeping. Captain Lebetti. The set, she's a good one, outside left. Just love this the setter far for Steel Birkin is serving. Jump serve is received by the libero. Chasing it down is Clark the center. It's karate chopped over. Bump set outside left, and it's going to be hit long by Huda. Another hitting error. I don't know how often they play in this gym, to be quite honest. I think it should make a difference. It should be the same dimensions. It sure throws you off a little bit. Stewart for serving. In that right corner, it is Lerman. There's a block of the hit. Nice pick up there by Farrell. Back set right. It's flipped over. That's all Herta could do. It was not a great set to go outside right. Hit over the blocker. And it was the Lord Williams gets the right hand on it. How did she do it? Back over the head. Diving forward. A great save by Farrell. The set goes outside right. Hit over the blocker. Again, on the back row doing an outstanding job. Is and oh, just bumping all the credit in the world on that one. She saved the ball a couple of times, coming flying up, making some great saves with Bachman. As Williams will now serve. Williams is 10 4. So Farrell making a bit of a comeback here. As Williams, just a great athlete, jumps, serves from that left corner, is picked up in the back row, not quite. And the ball gets it up front, it's punched over in, in attack mode. Williams is going to set it outside left. And Hurdle's going to slam it into the block here. What you want to do there is hit it off the outside arms and have it go out of bounds. Not, not allow them to keep the ball on the court of play, which is what they did when they blocked it. 11-4, Stewartville. Now serving is Claire Bunny. Lefty, and it is out. That's the first mistake that Stewartville has made, other than the ball they didn't pick up the one time, but you really can't count that as an error. So Hurdle will now serve, with her team down 11-5. She jump serves it, Falcons for the most part have been jump serving, and she lets teams doing that these days. It's passed over, two Falcons bump into each other, there's a left-handed set, now they go outside right, it was Williams who set it, and that's hit wide. Hitting it wide for Stewartville was Charlie Holmes. Great save by the Tigers. Oh, middle stat. ends up correcting the play, but middle stat had a great serve there for Stewartville. A great save. Herta again serving. The jump serve is received in the back row. Chasing it down is the other setter for Stewartville here. Herta is going to be a back set. And it's hit in. Just oh, in. Oh, 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 Gonzalez. She had the perfect touch on that so it would stay in. If she hits it too hard, it probably sails long. But it was perfect. It was right in the corner. Like she wanted to put it there. As Herta serves. Team down now 12-7. So after being down 8-1, Thurlbo making the comeback. Moves with outside left. It's hit. Nice punch to the front row. Good save by Stewartville from the front. Williams and back set it. Gonzalez hits it. The barrel for Stewartville to go outside left for a chip over the double block. That's right, Stewartville Tigers. By Stewartville's Minnick. It's You'll not smoking hot, but it ends up being Number a kill anyway. Even though it's a chip. 13 7, Stewartville. Serving for the Tigers is Peterson. Dream is her first one. And Keith Williams with the two-point Caramel Falcon. Gets the nice little push around the blockers. Stella Herda prepares to serve. Stella Herda, eighth grader, is serving. 
for Thurlbull. Stuart Bull's going to hit it out. They're starting to get some hitting errors here. That's their second hitting error. They also have a service error. And so Coach Peterson takes it out. We've got Jersey top, the remainder of teammates in green. Flat-footed serve received in the back row. Almost two people hitting at the same time, which is not wrong. And the kill is going to come down Point for Tigers. Doobie. They spread the ball pretty well. Theobald's got mostly kills. She's just now checking back in. And so Thurbo better keep track of where she is. 14-9. Stewartville Tigers on top. Coming in to serve is Langston. She started the match on a roll. Right corner, hammer, line drive. Received in the back row. Williams back sets it. And it's hit. Just hit. Right on the line was Reed with that kill. Perfectly placed. No Tiger was going to come up with that one. Now serving for the Falcons is going to be Simon. Let's see what Simon says here. Waiting for the official to give her the go-ahead to serve. And they're waiting for somebody to tie their shoe on the Stewartville side. Now they can go. So Simon says, I'm going to put it over the center portion and deep. Received by the Lumbera. Bumps that center of the net, hammers to the right, and down. Minnick gets the kill, her second. 15 10 Stewartville. Now from way behind the service line on the left side of the floor is Minnick. She'll do her jump serve. Received in the Back row, there's a set to the center of that ring, gives block, hits it quick enough back over. There's a back set right, they sit off the blocker, and Hilda can't come up there. Right. 16-10 is our score. I would say Josie's probably the most experienced player on the floor here for the Falcons. Josie Hurda. Jump serve, receive made. Section goes outside left. They almost clunked into each other, but I'm amazed that they don't more in this sport. Ball popped into the Raptors, and after it hits the top of the Raptor, it comes down at an incredible pace, and nobody's going to dig that one out. So, Tigers are up 17 10. Again, Minnick continues the serve from that left corner. Her jump serve is received by Kurda, the eighth grader. Back set right, to sit off the blocker. They got a piece of it. Set by Clark outside, there's a little tip. Williams gets to it, it's at the net, block. Williams keeps it alive, it's pushed over by, by the Falcons. Now Williams gets a block, to hit over the center portion of the net. A back set right, and hitting it into the blocker. He's trying to He's working, he gets stuffed on the play. Timeout. Well, Perlman's going to take the timeout. As continuing the serve is going to be Minnick. She jumps her. She took a little off that one. Hurta gets to it. The eighth grader, the libero, has to be passed over the net, literally. Nice back cutter by the defensive back, the libero for Stewart there. Now Hurta, the libero for Perlman, sets it. What a job to get to the ball and then she would have hammered that and kept it alive. There's a kick over by Williams, gets the athletic battle in the tip. Looks like a battle in the air. Gets the oh, okay, oh. off-pace tip. There was nobody back there. It was a hole, and that's the key in volleyball. you got to find holes. Kind of like, well, she's a good softball player, too. When you're hitting, you find a hole. 18-11, Stewartville. Serving is Manahan. Saving it from going over was the setter, and she's good. They go outside left, it's it over the double blocker. Back row player picks it up, that was Minnick, and then handling it off the double block is Stewart there, and getting the kill is going to be DeCook, who's second. Olivia DeCook. For the Stewartville Tigers, she wears number one and is a senior. Serving the libero for the Stewartville Tigers. The better. Reception is made on the third hit. It's punched over by Huda. Reception, Clark on 
the pass. Gets a beautiful set. And the Peterson gets the kill. Five different players have kills for Stewartville. Four for Farrell. It's 20 to 11. Smoking hot third received in a catcher's crowd. Set goes to Williams. Jim flips it over and there's the barrel picks it up. It's hammered in the middle of the row and guess who? Tiger. Theobald picks up his fifth kill of this set. 21-11. Fairbos had no answer for her. They just have nobody who can block her. She's very powerful. Looks to be, like I said, 5'11 or 6 feet tall. And uh, reception of the ball hit into the Raptors again. Ends up in an ace serve for the libero, Clavetter. 22-11. Jump serve is received by Herda. Herda gets it back to Herda. Williams gets it over. Oh, she's good at that scramble point. Set goes outside right. It's running in the blockers again. They're going to be working on that in practice tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. Hitting it on the outside arms instead of right into the blockers. Set goes to the left. It's angled. Nice rally going here to set those center of that. Push to that point. Oh, by Stewartville's Peterson. Picks up her third kill on a little push job. Just hitting a hole. Like I said earlier, hit the hole. 23-11, two points away from winning the first set of Stewartville. Eight. Second ace for Clevetter. And they're at set point here, 24-11. Herbal had mounted a comeback. I don't know what Coach Peterson told him in that huddle, but it worked. Reception, Erla gets the ball back. Tries to angle the kill. It's picked up by Stewartville. Passed over, and they're going to call a double hit by Stewartville. We have not seen many lifts or double hits. I'll say for a first match for Furbo, that's pretty impressive. The serving is going to be Birkin. Jump serve is received in the back row. Clark will set it outside right. Ooh, that might have been out. She elevated to get to it. They go outside left, and it's angled. And the hurt of just can't do it over the net. The serving for the terrible Falcon is Simon. And we'll see if Simon says, let's take the lead here. Simon's jump serve is received by the libero for Stewartville. Clark sets it. No, oh, mistiming her jump. She went up. And she mistimed her jump. So I'm going to call that a hitting error more so than a setting error. Simon's next point. Dribbles up 1 nothing. First lead of the night. Far quick set at the center of that. Nice diving pick up there by Simon. It's hit over on the angle. Boy, the libero gets in there. But the ankles pick that one up. Comes up in the air. Chasing it down is Herta, the eighth grader. And the Fairbill can't get it on the third hit. Fairbill is getting them, as they say, out of system. And the game for the Tigers is going to be minute. Serving for the Tigers. Minnick from that left corner will jump serve. Reception down the line is picked up in the back row. Simon heard up in the back row. Gets the kill. Stewartville couldn't pick it up. That's what she has to do is you have to keep it low and put pace on it. Serving is Manahan for Thurible. Cross court pass hit. And Williams gets the block. Stewartville's unable to get it back there. Point to your Falcon. So I'm giving Williams a block kill on that. I don't know what the official staff people will do. Dribbles up. Three to one here in set number two. Jump serve is received. Clark will back set it right. The Theobald was picked up in the back row. Get it back over. This Faribault set back set, hit off the boot. Again, Faribault gets to that, but I'm going to get an accurate pass on it. Is Manahan. So far, Theobald is showing that she just wants to swing, right? Just give it her all. Get a 
full swing. And serving is Clavetter, the libero. Reception in the back row by Thurible. They go back set left. Herman is down the line. And that's a smoking hot kill by Jovi Herta. Impressive. Her third kill of the night. And coming in to serve is going to be Perkins. Perkins, an eighth grader, reception in the back row. Carr races in the position. The setter, it's just scramble mode, pushed over. Hitting it over is Gonzalez for Thurible. Carr sets a back set left over the double blockers. Back row, Burton is there. The pass, Williams is waiting for it. It's hit over by Herda. The set to the center of the net, and it's good. Second and elevated kill by Charlie Holmes. And picks up her first kill of the night. Four to three, Fairbill Falcons here in set number two. The first one was run pretty much blown away by the Stewartville Tigers as Williams tried to do a quick hammer and ended up hitting it out. This sport puts a premium on not making mistakes. That's true in any sport, but especially in this one, because a point is assessed to your opponent when you make a mistake in this one. Point, Tiger! There's a hitting error by Simon into the net. And all of a sudden, Stewartville's got a 5-4 lead. Tigers are serving. Back right corner, it's Kaylee Lerman. Williams is going to try and push it deep. Elevating to it is the libero. Goes into the back row. The set goes outside left. Hurt it. Block, but it's out of bounds. That's what I need. Out. You hit it off those blocks. He can't block it onto the court. And they did do it that properly that so that they would block it, but it goes out of bounds. And then picks up a third kill in the second set. Maybe she settled in. Might have been a little nervous that first set. As Williams is serving. Set outside left, it's angled, picked up by Herta, the eighth grader. Williams again with a one hand punch. And unable to get to it is Gonzalez. Six five, Stewartville. Serving is Nagel. Oh my. Smoking hot hit, but it was out of bounds by Herta. Again, you got to keep it on the court. That's your fourth hitting error of the night. 7-5. Line drive third, picked up from the ankles. Set goes outside, and it's hit over by Gonzalez. There's a back set right. It's hit off the tape, popped up in the air. Lovetter gets to it. It's punched over, and it's good. And that really was a pick up of the ball. Minnick gets a kill off the ball that probably should have been picked up. Just lazily hits the floor down by the free throw line. Court coverage, so key in this sport. 8-5. Stewartville leads here in the second set. That is, is it in or is it out? It's in. Stewartville the ace. Nagel gets the ace, third ace of the night for Stewartville. And it's 9-5 as the Tigers are starting to pull away here. She angles this one, picked up by Herta. Set goes cross court, Gonzalez flips it over. That was a great set. You want to make a move, her feet. Diving forward, getting to her server. Herta just pushes it back over. Set goes left, down the line. Stewart stays in system. Herba does not. Then it picks up the kill. Football, one power 96, Thurible Falcon style. Stewartville serving. Reception by Eighth Grade Huda, and nobody gets to the ball. That point goes to Stewartville Tigers. Back in the game. Communication is so big in this sport. It's big in all sports, but in this sport, you this small space, you better communicate. Herta receives, it goes into the rafters, comes out of it, brings back, sets up, Herta flips it over and gets the kill. That's Herta with the kill, point table! So Herta without serve, 
you don't forget on a roll. Their team is down 11-6. Josie is a senior. He jumps over to see the catcher's block. Nice save by Clark. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that wasn't Clark. That's the other setter for Stewartville, Kaylee Luna. He looks pretty good, too. Stewartville gets the ball right back. In the net. Peterson hits one in the net, a service error. It's a 12 7. Still doable to come back. Let's see how the Falcons do here. It's Stella Herda, the eighth grade libero, will serve. Received in the back row by Stewartville. Perfect pass to set. Flipped over the block. Williams comes up to get to it. Herda pops it back up. It's hit over by Farabola. Now the set goes left. Minix. Picked up by Herda, it's too close to three, but William saves it. Hit over by Turbo. Set, hit over the block, and William can't get through it. Well, just a, a light touch. It was just a light touch. Again, it looked to be not a lot of pace on it to pick up the ball. It's 13 7. That's easy for me to say. I'm broadcasting, I'm not out there. <laughs> Abigail Langs is serving. He's smoking hot in the first set in terms of her serves. Back set goes right, it's hit to the angle. Is it in? It is not. It's another, another hitting error by Furrowman. You don't do yourself any favors with those. They already got five in this set, or six, and they had five the whole first set. Williams is going to back set up to Pete. And the ball came, oh my, scramble there, they got two at the Stewartville. Outside left, again, it's hit into the net by Manahan. I don't know if she does a little peekaboo, takes her eye off the ball, or, you know, trying to see where the blockers are, and then you take your eye off the ball, and quite often you end up hitting this, hitting it into the net. And Pete just did the same thing. I should say, Lee just did the Langseth is serving for Stewartville. The eighth grade libero, Herda, the see. Rolling pickup and hit. A rare miss hit by Theobald, and I saw her take her eye off the, off the ball there. 16-8, Stewartville on top. They already won the first set. It's best of five. Serving for Faribault is Simon. Simon goes the right side. She's mixed that up well. There's a set that's pushed over, and again, Faribault, the off-speed stuff is throwing him off big time. 17-8. Stewart believes. Serving is Minnick. Reception is made in the back row by Simon. The set goes to center. It's another hit into the net by Manahan. The ninth hitting error of this set. 18-8. Just getting it over the net. Stewartville. Hit over by Scramble Moore. That was broken. Punch again. Off speed. Just a punch. Terrible ball out of sorts. They get him out of position and then just find a hole and tip it there. Seventh person to get a kill for Stewart though, and now service error. By Minnick. That is their fourth service error of the night, or third service error of the night. But they're up 19 to 9. And the ball didn't even get to the net on that serve. Manahan has a service error. The ball hit the back of the head of a front row player. Serving is Lavero, Lavetter. You see by Hurdle, the Lavero for Farabo can't get an accurate pass now. Trying to chase it down was Simon, but that wasn't going to happen. The veteran serves that one out. Another service there. 
So Clavetter gets a service there, and looks like Stuerville wants to be a little more aggressive on their serves. Good time to practice, yeah, they're up 21 10. Serving is Birkin. Just tickles the net. Perfect serve for an ace. A waterfall serve. It hits the top of that and just falls over. The next serve. Well, she tried the same thing. Boy, that looked like she was over the net to me. The set center then, the shoe was under the net. I guess they don't play that anymore. Put in. I didn't quite catch who got that one. Unfortunately, serving again, Burkett. Clark saves it. It's a little mistimed jump, but she still got it over. Clark pops it up. The better goes outside right to the ball. Gets blocked by Williams, but it goes out of bounds. What happens when you hit with power? She wasn't even at the corner of the net. And it went out of bounds. The Theobald's going to come out. Checking is their other setter. Checking in is Wilman. Sitting down is Clark. Also, the Libero's back in the game. The better. And that is angled. Herta picks it up. That goes to center. And that Herta hammers it. And Theobald's going to get it back over. Lindsay Herta with a kill. Picked up six of those in the set. Amira Williams. Six of their 13 points is 22-13 Williams. Amira, the sophomore, serving. Exception in the back row. The set is back set. It's angled. Williams is right there. Not tough to the eighth grade hurdle. Pushed over. Uh, uh, set goes outside left. Stewart goes back in again. Can't get to it. I mean, she got two of them, he's not able to get an accurate pass on it. 23, 13, two points away from taking a two sets to none lead for the mighty Stewartville Tigers. They're purring right now. As serving is Nagel. Hilda saves it from going out of bounds. The set goes to center, that was the senior. Another tip kill with the net. Peterson, the fifth of the night. It's set point for Stewartville. Exception Herta, again, they just, they're passing his off here tonight. Well, they can't get up that early, 25, 13, and just scored in this time. Starting the serve will be Langsett, the young lady who started in that first set, and pushed Stewartville out to an eight on the lead in the first set. Herbal came back to make it close, 10 to four, but then Coach Peterson took a timeout. I don't know what he said, but it worked. Ended up winning 25-10. Set goes outside right. He gets it over. Scramble mode. It's Minnick. Herbal tipping at the net, and again, Herbal gets a hot tip. Not smoking hot hits, just mistimed jumps and hits that get tipped kills for the Stewartville Tigers. Nice at smoking out third. Reception made by Herta. Leans back to Herta. All she can do is push it back over from the back row. Right side to go over the double block. Herta's there. Queens is going to set it outside left. It's in over the blockers and in. Good job there. And the kill goes to Manahan. The first kill of the night. Now serving for the Falcons is going to be Elena Simon. Simon, a senior. Reception in the back row is nearly into the Raptors. The better gets it to Theobald in the back row. Can't get it over the net. Falcons! Theobald has a hitting error, making it two to one Falcons. Serving is Simon. The coach pointing where she wants the ball placed, goes down the line. That would have been out. But Theobald went after it anyway and ends up being a receiving error. I don't know, I guess you could count that as an ace too for Simon. Still in the same place. Theobald gets it to the fly, it's tipped to a hole again. 
Gets the kill. A little and it's 3 2. Checking in for Stewartville is Nagel. Sitting down for Stewartville is McKenna Crestopperson. Serving as Minnick. Reception down the line. Picked up. Set goes to center. Williams. Williams. Going to tip it to a hole in the back row. It would be nice to see them set her up for, to be honest. And then serving with the Falcon down and up for the two. And Theobald brings the power. Top of the ball kill. Nobody was going to pick that ball up. She only had one kill last set after having five in the first set. The seventh kill of the night by Mike. Three Falcons serving is Clevetter. Clevetter. Scramble mode, terrible, and we've said that a lot because it has been. The set goes back. Theobald is blocked by Williams. It stays on the Stewartville side. It's over the rubber block. Third off. Goes cross court. Jersey picks up her eighth kill of the night. And eighth grader Birkin, Kylie Birkin, is serving now for Farrell. Here's number 17 in the uniform. Reception by Minnick. Far sets at the center of that, partially blocked. Looking at a nice pickup to the outside left. And Herda hits it into the net. Four Falcons lead it. Lerman, their other setter, comes in to serve. Also checking in for Stewartville is Sydney Clark. Ball's popped up by Thurble. Williams back and pedals and gets it over. The set goes right, and it is going to be out. Sydney Clark with a hitting error. With six four, Falcons Williams will now serve Miro. She's got quite a bit of uh, and she's been playing since what, seventh grade maybe? <laughs> I think Herta might have started in seventh grade or two, Josie. Outside left to go to Josie. She angles her body to try and keep it in and it's out. Hitting errors have been tough for the Falcons, especially against a really good team like Stewartville. Jump serve is received by Bachman. Williams can't make it out to a pass, and they end up with a big point there for Stewartville. Nagel picks up. Now well, she's going to come out while well, she's in the middle of the serve. You don't see that every day of the week. Coming in from the serve. Is going to be middle step, or no, I'm sorry, this is Christopherson. We're tied at six. Christopherson's jump serve is received by Bachman. Williams is going to set it. It's hit over by Herda, and she'll get the kill right between the two blocker attempts. Ninth kill of the night for Herda. Bachman's going to take a seat, checking into the front row for Farrell Boys, Tori Manahan, serving as Josie Herda, the senior. Veteran angles it, picked up in the back row. Set goes to center of the net, easily getting the kill. No block whatsoever is Peterson. Her sixth kill of the night. Peterson will go back to serve now with her team tied at seven with the Falcons. They win this set, they go home. Smoking hot save, received by Rita. Williams gets it to Pete. She's Trying to tip it into a block, and that's usually not a good thing to have happen. Minnick ends up with a stuffed kill. A block kill. 8-7, Stewartville takes the lead. And uh, the serve is into the bottom of the net. So serving now is the 8th grader Stella Herbert for Faribault. White jersey top, the remainder of her teammates 
in green. Set goes outside left. It's around the blockers. Herta picks it up, the eighth grader. Herta, the senior, karate chops it. Again, you got to keep it on the court. particularly happy right now. She's thinking, you know, we've got to keep the ball on the court. We don't have a chance if we don't do that. Williams gets it outside left. It's hit over by Burton. Barr set the center of that, but he's a tip again to the hole. He just killed him, burned him on that all night. Ruby gets the tip kill. It's not rocket science. She's put the ball in a hole. As Clar is now serving. Reed picks it up. Williams had to chase around Reed to get to the ball. Far back sets it right. Three of the ball with a power. Brings it home. Her eighth kill of life. Thompson's going to take it. Clark serving, and she got an eight. All right, four I'm sorry, that was Abigail Langston who got the ace. Definitely getting more aggressive here on their serve. Something they want to work on, I'm sure. And like I said, when you got this kind of a, well, it's not a big lead right now, but when you're up two sets to none, you can afford to do that. Serving now for Faribault is Simon. Reception in the back row is top near the Raptor. Back set right by Klar is the other lines of his karate chop over. Now, his feet. The better. Angled by Minnick, and she'll get the kill. Kylie Minnick picks up her sixth kill of the night. She had two in each set. It's coming in for Stewartville is Spencer Nagel. Serving is Minnick. Minnick jump serves. Herta picks it up. Back set, angled, and good. Picks up her second kill of the night, both in this set. She'll go back to serve right now. There's number 10 on the uniform. 13-10, Stewart will lead. Jump serve is received by Clevetter. Quick set by Langford. And again, just getting up to a hole is Doobie. Her fifth kill of the night, third of this set. Checking in for Stewartville on the front row is Dream Peterson. The better, the libero is serving. In the sweatpants. One more young ladies are doing that. Ball's popped up. Langston gets it outside left. And it comes back over. Outside right. Set that time for Theobald. She ends up hitting it in the net, but it really wasn't her fault. It's too low of a set. 14-11. Stewartville leads it. Burke and the eighth grader serving for Farrell. Reception's made in the back row by Minnick. Quick set is out. All team points for Farrell Falcon. Hitting error for Peterson. 14-12. Verbal would love to win this set to extend their volleyball night. As Birkin jumps her into the net. Second service error of the night for Verbal. The serving has been fairly good. Lerman comes in to serve for Stewart, little section by Bachman. The back set goes right to Williams. And it's outside the antenna, which is like a foul pole. It's out of bounds. And it goes outside the antenna, which protrudes on top of the net. 
Another mistake. Sixteen twelve. It's put over by Huda. Scramble board. Steel goes gets to it. It's always the normal defense. That's it wide. Nagel with the hitting error. Sixteen thirteen. Stewart the leading here in the third set. As Reach comes in the front row for the Falcons. I am Paul Reach. She is a senior. Lefty Williams hits it. Picked up by the libero. The set goes to center there. Hitting it wide. The hurdles there. Williams jump sets it. And unable to get through. by the down official here as Williams is serving. Such as made in the back row. Bump set outside left. It's hit just over the blockers. And again, not a lot of pace. The off-speed stuff is just killing Faribault tonight. And Clark picks up the kill. 17-14, Stewartville. I'm sure they'd like to get home early. I don't know if they've started school yet. I know the 11th and 12th graders started at Faribault. Here they get it over. The attack line, the set goes, and oh my. It's the in. Perfect set. Getting the kill is Clark. It's 18-14 Stewartville, and there's a saver set. They can tell they're trying to be more aggressive on their serves, and they've had a few more errors here, but that's a really bad one. Josie Herta will serve now for the Falcons. They're down 18-15. The jump serve, angle, picked up, set goes, and it's hit wide. Williams hits it into the Raptors, and they're not going to pick that up. They weren't going to pick that one up. Barr gets another kill. Going back to serve for Stewartville is Peterson. Checking into the lineup is Hallie Yelenik. Yelenik checks in, so well, Coach Peterson's getting all his players in here tonight. Jump serve received in the back row. Set coming to fly it up Gonzalez, and she's going to get the kill. Gonzalez. Gonzalez with the kill. Well, Gonzalez gets her second kill of the night. And uh, Romero Stella Herda back to serve. Reception coming up. Stewartville gets to it. The set goes outside left. And lady it just came in. And they're going to fall in the net. In the net. Another mistake. 20 to 16. Now I'm sure Coach Hernan likes the fact that they're starting their season not against a conference opponent. And quite frankly, this is my own opinion. But many years, Stewartville would have won the Big Nine in volleyball. Not recently, because Northfield's been so good lately. But, and Mayo a couple years ago, but still, there were many years there when Stewartville would have won the Big Nine. Theobald gets blocked. And I think it went on the line. And it took all the water. Rockwell runs out of bounds. Theobald. <laughs> we had water all over the place, and there's the other service there. Man, oh man. Twenty-one seventeen, four points away from the sweep of the Stewartville Tigers. Serving is Yelenik. Reception is made in the back row by Simon, I believe. It goes outside left. Hurdle gets it back on the court. A lot of bombs. And that's going to be hit. Oh, wow. Hey, 
Yeah, Stuvitz is swinging away, being super aggressive. Why not? Yep, 21 18 here in the third set, up two sets to none. Now serving is Manahan. Tosses it, jump serves it. Reception in the back row is not made. They can't dig it out of the net, and so Manahan gets an eight. That's only the second one they've had tonight. So try to do it again. He jump serve this time down the line, picked up in the back row. Blanks accepts it, and it's too low. I mean, way too low for the hitter. And Stewart is going to put the time off. One twenty, Stewartville here in the third set. If they win this set, this night is over. As Manahan serves into the net. It's 22-20, Stewartville. Going back to serve is Clavetter. The libero for Stewartville. Hurdle receives the eighth grade. The barrel for Terrible. Herda hammers it. It's blocked by Theobald. Now they go outside right. Burkham gets blocked. Terrible can't get it back over. And ending up with a block kill is Nagel. They're now two points away from a sweep. They beat Mayo earlier this season, did these Stewartville Tigers. Set from Herda on the serve by Levetter. Williams. Nice pick up in the back row there by Minnick. The tip blocked by Williams, and they're going to have too many hits in Stewartville. 23 21. Can Farable have the great late comeback? We'll see. Birkin serving the eighth grader. Jump through. Deception's made. You're going to need a mistake or two from Stewartville here. Theobald punches it over. Herta picks it up. Set goes back to Herta. No, Williams. Scrambles to get it over. Now, the better gets it on the right side. Great block by Williams on Theobald. Now it's tying the tip, and Theobald finally, finally adjusts to the tip. And Gonzalez is right there with a left paw to stuff that one right back. 23 22, Stuart Hill here in the third set. Birkin elevates and hammers it. Reception in the back row. The set goes to center of the net. Picked up by Bachman. It comes over too far. Williams can't get it to block it. And Faribault keeps it in play. Herna hammers it out the blocker. Theobald keeps it alive. In the back row, a two-hand pushover. Picked up by Faribault. Williams is going to try to give him the corner. It's out. Oh, my. So close. Had she been able to get the right touch on that, it would have been in. But it ends up being out. And we are at match point. 22. Trying to serve out the match is Lerman. Reception heard up in the catcher's squad. They pop it up, and the Thurber miss hits the ball into the net. And that ends it. 25 22.